it wrong. How did you know this? I didn't know at all. Disney gives one of its most cherished family films a makeover. Pete's Dragon is still about an orphaned boy named Pete and a dragon named Elliot. But the look, the feel, the modern Disney magic is definitely in place. I was out here at the Eastern Pad. But that's... 50 miles east. ...from where we found him. Hey. Wait, 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 wait. Do you know where your parents are? Your family? I guess he was on a picnic or a camping trip. He wandered off and got himself lost. I've been out in the woods, doing things his own way. Sounds like a boy after your own heart. How long has he been out there? Six years. Nobody can survive in that forest for six years. At least not alone. You'll see. I have Elliot. Who's Elliot? You are acting opposite a dragon yes. that isn't always there and can be invisible. Yes, so there you go. yes, can be invisible. And hairy. Yes. That's yes. what I didn't, I never have seen a hairy dragon. I know. When we were getting ready to do the movie, Weta, who did all the visual effects in New Zealand, um, uh, kind of gave all of us a presentation of Elliot and what he was mm. going to be like. And and we saw that he was so playful and, you know, that he's like a puppy dog. And, and so, you know, to get a sense of his personality and the fact that he's that he's furry and cuddly. Like, I had no idea that it was going to be like that. And I think that was a really, I think that choice alone makes all the difference in the world. I need to get back to him. He gets scared when I'm gone. Is Elliot a person? No. He looks like a dragon. What's a dragon? A dragon. So how do you feel about playing Meacham and Pete's dragon with all these kids? Well, first of all, let's let's go to uh, storytelling. I mean, I, I place high value on storytelling. I, when I was a kid uh, growing up in Los Angeles, it was a lower working class environment where you didn't have much. And so stories were essential. You know, the idea of being told a story, there was nothing greater than hearing Once Upon a Time. You know, it just got things rolling for you. Because it always presented a world larger than the one you were living in, so you, you couldn't wait. So storytelling became, I guess, a part of my life. I, I realized its value as a kid, and I thought, well, if I can, if I can play a role as a storyteller, I would love that. So this character embodies that. I mean, he, he's a storyteller, and, and the, the beauty of it is that he tells stories that nobody really believes, but they like hearing it anyway, only to find out that maybe it was true. I just like that character. This thing is dangerous. We don't want to leave you, but they'll come looking for you. What's going to happen to Elliot? You have no idea what this thing is capable of. Let's go hunting. Some secrets are just too big to keep. Create new memories and recall old ones when you see Pete's Dragon in your real-time theater.